Hey, run. I'm clear. Welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. So, we have two unlocks left on the Ironclad, and I think as long as we get to the heart each run, it should only be two more runs. Always take the boss relic. Curse. Eh, the resource is nice, so we want elites like usual. So probably this path. Right? The two shops is kind of kind of not great though. But it's looking like that's probably the best way to go. Or maybe this path? Yeah, and there's a fair few combats. In fact, I could take take one question mark. See if we get something fun. We should be able to finish one off. Right, and then do a little damage to the other one. Oh, I forgot. We four. We've done a lot better there. Should have bashed so that we could actually get some decent damage. It should, yeah, still be enough to finish it off. With no damage taken for once. So, question is, do we want to go strength or block? We'll go damage. Hopefully we get something. Goal, because we have a shot coming up. So we can bash heavy blade to finish. But we should probably block a little. That's a one shot. Don't know, do we do enough damage? We don't have enough resources. Ah, that was bad. I should have, should have defended. It's fine, it's done. Okay, right, perfect strike, metallicize, iron wave. We're, we're going damage. Should have probably gone defense. Set up the vulnerable, negate damage, play somewhat defensively, right? And now we can do massive damage. Yeah, okay, that's working out. Humble, yeah, flex. The drawer is nice. We don't have any resource gain yet. So I think flex is better, right? And we definitely want the elite, so we gotta go that way. So we can flex, deal with you, and deal with one other. Yeah. That should be less damage overall. Sword Boomerang, True Grit. Uppercut is kind of nice. We don't have anything to synergize with it, so we'll leave it be. Almost a great start. I could look for the flex. There's a decent chance. We didn't get the flex, but we did get bash. So bash into perfect strike. It was a little bit weaker because we got rid of strikes. Right, that's how it works. Damage for all your cards containing strike. Actually, I don't know then. There's the flex. A little bit of damage, a little bit of defense. Still take eight. Of course, we're getting heavy blade when we don't, when we don't get the the flex. I don't think heavy blade was worth it, right? Well, no, fourteen to twelve, so it is still more damage. Should keep up some defense. Bash, close, slightly off. Flex, yeah, flex into it. What was I going to say? If you end your turn without block, okay, that's good because we're going aggressive. My brain wanders a lot. Warcry, I do like, especially if we can improve it. More damage to all and vulnerable. We'll go Warcry. And we'll, we'll smith it. Flex, Warcry. Uh, they're both defense. We'll do that. And then we'll try and get the one that's about to buff. I really don't need to worry about blocking. Because we get six at the end of every turn now, so that's good. Flex. Why, why am I having trouble with that? I think Anger's... No, the Flex is still better. Smith, definitely do War Cry. Let's now draw two. Our chests, we get clumsy, but we get to up our strength, which is actually really good for what we're going for. So we want the campfire. Don't want doubt. Hmm. We'll see what this is. It's a chest. Parasites. Ick. 
We'll definitely try and lift, lift as much as possible, even if it is skipping elites. He's just starting with it, is so good. Although we don't have much going on now. You get rid of you, you're doing nine. And I guess we can damage you. The six would have been better, actually. Okay, Perfected Strike and Warcry. Well, Warcry... Ditch the Clumsy for now. Well, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, what am I playing? Two Strikes and Defend. Probably. Right, get rid of that one. I love the block. And then we can Flex. Get rid of you. Take a little bit of damage. We'll take no damage, actually. Ooh. Need to try and get rid of the curses somehow. I don't think there's anything there we want. We're able to lift again, which is fantastic. Heavy blade is nice. We get the flex, so I think we save a strike. Flex, bash, heavy blade. And almost finish them off. I could do this and that way I don't take damage, but I'm only taking one, so it's not a big deal. All right, and then we just finish it off. Yeah, so we definitely have the damage, which is great. Pummel or feed. So pummel with our strength is really good. So pummel it is. We're up to two strength on stars. We're against ghost boy thing. Warcry, so there's heavy blade. Guess we're getting rid of the parasites. We're going flex, flex. None of these really help us. 10 damage is kind of good. I think that's all we can do. We have no like draw or find abilities. At this point we probably want that. I don't know if dex affects anything, but I do have a defend anyway. Still take a massive amount of damage though. We got the pummel. I guess we're just doing perfect strike, pummel, attack. Okay, and that procs before the, the meta uh, metallicize. We're refined on armor then. And we just pump the damage. Hopefully we get something good from this guy. The HP is at 50% at the end of combat here, 12. So that's also nice. Alright. Somewhat smooth. Okay, Brutality is probably what we're grabbing. Finishing something off with Feed and getting 3 HP is kind of nice. I think Brutality is better overall. To remove 2, you can no longer gain Gold, you can no longer Rest. Probably get away with the non-resting. Right, and still use Shops. Because we want one more lift and then we also need to upgrade a bunch of cards. Okay, we're definitely missing Elites. There's one, there's two. So we can go to this shop if we go this way, or we can go this way. We're at an early shop. Hmm, it's not a great start. Yes, we activate that. Pummel. We just have to use everything. Gonna gain a bunch of defense. It's annoying. that flex affected strike we can block a little I shouldn't have done that again the six is just better this should be it though yeah so we do have sizable damage output we do have curses so fire breathing is kind of cool makes us kind of want to get more another pummel would be nice what do we have sage come out with one or Pocket Watch. Pocket Watch I do really like. Or you could grab both of these. And can we get the Pummel as well? 150, 300, we could. We could grab both of them and the Pummel. Instead of the Pocket Watch. I think because we've got that other card. What's it called? 
Need to learn the names. Brutality, right? We should be fine. First attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Upon pick up, obtain a special curse. Yeah, that's fine. I'm curious what the curse is. So we got three cards to proc my breathing. Yeah. So we do want to get that active as soon as possible. And we need to go this pathway so that we can get to the two elites. Brutality. We strike, got played twice, which is fantastic. Yeah, so that's a really good opening, the Necronomicon. Each turn as well. That makes it super strong. Flex, Warcry. We can also do this to redraw into curses if we have fire breathing up. So Pummel will knock it down. And I suppose then we just stack stuff on the other one. I mean, you really don't worry about defending. It'd be nice to remove from our deck. Right? And we can no longer rest. Yeah. Oh, but we can't remove them from the deck anyway. Not there, at least. Now, do we need bloodletting? I think so. Warcry. Really looking for flexes. Guess we're getting rid of the defend. Because we get more defense anyway. So, what can we do? 23 twice, almost finishes you off. Then just a strike. I could Angie Potts to try and get this over with quicker. Oh yeah, see that? That was a bad turn. Again, there's no point in using, using block. Bash into a pummel. At least we get the meat. That does help us out. Another war cry. Yeah. Again, to, to stick them with the curses. So we have max strength. So the next one we can upgrade the... Maybe I should have taken the upgrade first. We can upgrade the war cry. And use it to continuously find our curses. This will KO that guy. Hmm. I feel like we should just pump damage. Is there any way I can get this guy down without using Perfected Strike? This only does 10, unfortunately. Do that. Do that. Ah. Just off on the damage. Which means we're taking a, a bunch now. We want to be slightly under half, actually. That'd be the best way to end it. Flex. Strike. Come on to finish you off. That'll put me at exactly half, right? If add or blow, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely what we want. We don't have to worry about brutality, because this will be over. Meets active, pummel you to death, and gain 12. In flame is definitely the pickup. Stabby Stabby is our next elite. Hmm. No draw, unfortunately. We don't have to use bloodletting. So we did 104, which is fantastic. But then we don't really get much. If we upgrade the pummel, that could be really good. Right, because it attacks five times then. done anyway. Whenever you would receive five or less, reduce it to one. Reduce it to one. That is fantastic. Ah, oh, there we go. There's Barricade. Too bad we're not on a block run. I don't need another blood budding. Bag of Marbles. Vulnerable is definitely great for our start. Right, because now we can go like Flex. Massive Heavy Blade. And it's done. Regret, body slam, nope. We're good. Yeah, this is a bad start. 
Then we'll bash. Enough damage. Uruk is invulnerable. Fantastic. So we're healing for 12, which is definitely needed. We'd like to finish it this turn, which we can definitely do with Heavy Blade. So we have to walk right. We got to flex. We can do that. That's now doing 14. It's now doing 16. Finish you off. And do some damage to you. It's the best we can do. So it'll take a little bit of it because of the block. You get to reduce to one. That's fantastic. And this should be a KO pummel, yeah. Got a ton of damage. So Sever Soul is definitely good. It costs too much. And we want the, the rest area next. Warcry. Screw that. Definitely play the fire breathing. And I guess just triple strike you. Well, there, there's a high chance we can finish this guy off next turn. Yeah, and fire breathing was decent there. Definitely war cry. Oh, not good. Doesn't really matter which curse. Well, that will actually disappear, so we should go like that. And then I guess just inflame. I don't want to exhaust them. But we have to take the six. Well, we don't take six, actually. We take the debuff. I really want to finish you off. Alright, so either way, the pummels are enough now. Barricade again, twin strike. Twin strike's kind of good. With our strength buff. Upgrade? Yeah. Yeah, take the double upgrade. We want to upgrade War Cries, I think. That becomes innate, which is definitely good. Let's attack five times. That's great. Five times. I feel like we gotta do we'll do brutality and then the next one we'll do heavy strike. I think that's the best way to do it. Because we do really want to start with brutality. Alright, one down. Play the top three cards. That could also be really good. We need to take four more damage, three more damage. Double bash. We're taking 12, we're taking six. Okay, that puts us under for meat. And now we can just pummel for a ton. I think we should be definitely good against the boss. Smith, definitely do heavy blade, right? Cause that twice with Necronomicon is just fantastic. Against the Gremlin Keeper. Do that. Do that, do that, do that. Do we need to defend? I kind of feel like just getting rid of it. Yeah, we want to see flexes before we do distilled chaos. We didn't get them though. This is doing six, four times, the 24. I guess we got to do it and see what we get. We can finish one of them off. I guess finish them off so that he goes into summoning. We're building strength, which is good enough, I suppose. Yeah, because now we have heavy blade for a ton of damage. Now we want to war cry first. We'll draw it back anyway with the next war cry. Wow, well, I should play the one first. Yeah, because it doesn't really matter. Okay, so bash, no. No, this is still way more damage anyway. So double heavy blade, bash, strike. So more minions, but we should be able to get KO him now, I think. Nope, I think wrong. We're gonna take damage here. Yes, it's better than six. Fine, debuffs are fine, you're an 18 anyway. Done. 
We have a ton of gold, actually. Pervious bludgeon. Bludgeon is kind of what I want to take, but we don't have the resources for it. And it's not like it's super affected by strength either. We can take immolate. Or you can just skip them. Be happy with what we have. No more potions, no more intent. Do we need the extra resource? We really need draw at the moment. So I think I'm going to take that. We upgrade a strike. It's okay. And we can get a pommel, which helps us with our draw. All right, act three, and we're making really good time. Where are our two elites? This branch, which we can't get. Oh, we can't get to a shop. Vitality, war cry. I re yeah, I gotta get into the better habit of using that first. Because then at least we can draw both. War cry is what we wanna send. Right, double heavy blade. Oh, does 102. Okay. Hmm. More flexes. It was some good stuff. Well, that's a no-brainer. Now we can remove cards. That's also really good. Is there anything here we want? Double tap and bloodletting. We still, again, a short on draw. I can get rid of them. Is that good enough? Remove that. Bloodletting. Take the pipe. Yeah. I think that's fine. Immediately travel to the boss. And there's a fair shot we can do this nice and easily. So sure. We have a ton of damage anyway. That's per cards. What have you played 12 cards? Yeah, sorry, I do remember this boss. Yeah, so look at this. We can go brutality, we can go flex, we can go in flame. And then double perfect strike. Bomb sounds decent. War cry, and we'll put heavy blade back so we can spam it next turn for two. Yeah, so now we can go flex. Heavy blade twice. It's still doing more damage. Though the bash would be nice to use. Question is, can we DPS him down before we lose? I don't really need bloodletting. I I don't think it affects the yeah the RE capital. Pummels are good. All we can do is push damage. One, two, three, four. Did I just lose? First attack, played twice. But did I miscount the damage? It's like a hundred and something, was it? Ah, God. Hopefully we get at least one unlock. Yeah, just. It's annoying. <laughs> oh well. Got, got to the boss, almost got it done anyway. One unlock to go, and then we're done with the Ironclad. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.